Here's my first day. Welcome back to day two. Day three, run. Day five. Day six of training. Day seven. Day eight. Nine. Here goes day 10. I can't believe that it has come. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm not having a good time, but I'm so excited. Hi guys, it is December 10th and I'm about to do probably the craziest thing I've ever done physically with my body. So it is the 10th and I got back to New Jersey two days ago on the 8th and I started running because there was a park nearby and I really enjoyed it. Like it's otherwise I'm really just very much at home all day because I'm here with my mom. I don't have any friends here. And so I just needed some sort of outlet. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go running in that park. So I started running in that park and I've been really enjoying it. So the first day, I'll put in little snippets of me running. I look horrendous. I look like a little egg when I run. December 8th it is my first day doing the streak of morning runs. It's really nice out. I love running in the cold. I just decided this now where I think on the 31st, I want to run a half marathon. All right, I'm going to wrap up five miles for day one. Day one is when I realized I think I want to try and have a goal of running a half marathon by the end of the year because, well, really I've got nothing else better going. So that's what I started doing. I ran five miles the first day. I ran six miles yesterday. All right, you guys, welcome to day two. The aim for six today. Honestly, my mind just kind of goes numb. I'm listening to a podcast and before I know it, it's over. And I'm on my last lap and I'm always just so happy on the last lap. And look, look at that little sunset. It's so pretty. And then yesterday, I was talking to a friend who reached out and was like, I heard you're running a half marathon, let's do it together. And I was like, wait, sorry, I'm running half marathon in New Jersey because I'm scared of training in the streets of San Francisco because it's super hilly and just chaos. It's chaos in San Francisco. And I refuse to train on a treadmill because that just sounds horrendous. So I was like, I'm just going to do it in New Jersey. I'm actually going to do it unofficially. I'm just going to clock it on my Apple Watch. But that got me thinking why clock it on my apple watch when i could just see if there were half marathons available in new jersey so there is a half marathon available in new jersey it's in eight days yeah the the, the last possible half marathon in new jersey is in eight days this is gonna be crazy but i think i'm gonna do it so i'm about to go from no training at all just started training two days ago to a half marathon in 10 days of training. And I just had to document it because I am so curious if I'm gonna be able to do this. I do feel like it's kind of mind over matter, although I might be saying that and then my legs will just like give out and I'll just hurt myself. Here's what I'm thinking, okay? I wrote out a game plan. I wrote out a game plan because every single article I've looked at, every single article says eight weeks of training, eight weeks of training. I don't have eight weeks, I have 10 days. So here's my plan, I alternate days, okay? We're gonna walk, run, walk, run, walk, run our way to 13 miles. And one of the articles said that as long as you can run 10 miles, you can do 13. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna peak at 10 and then call it, we're done with training. So that's where I am right now. I am eight days away from running a half marathon, 10 days of training to run a half marathon. What am I doing? What am I doing? But I'm so excited. Oh, I am glistening. <laughs> All right, you guys, I am midway through my day three run. I'm just so glad. I cannot tell you how happy I am to have found a path that isn't just running in circles in a field all day because this is what I love about running. This run has made me so happy. I officially hit eight miles and I'm taking it back in the little park that I always run at. Feeling really good. Today, walk three. So this is my absolute favorite person to do at-home workouts with. Her name is Grow With Joe, and she does a lot of just at-home walking in place workouts. I actually only hit 3.22 and always on the right whenever I'm doing any sort of workouts, I'm watching a video. Welcome to day five of training. As you can tell, it is incredibly dark out and that is because I decided to start running at like 4.30 today. Finished up my five miles. I did more Googling last night as one does because 
this half marathon just has me going to sleep every night just googling what the heck I'm supposed to be doing. The fact that everyone else had the 10 a week away from the 13 just scared me so much that I was like, okay, I think I need more than two days of break from the 10 to do the 13. So that's an update on the training plan too. It was just such a mindful reflective run which i never usually have so anyways that's day five i will see you tomorrow for the longest run yet i can't believe that it has come i can't believe we're running 10 miles today ah! all right you guys this is freaking crazy it is day six of training <sighs> i'm so nervous but i don't even have time to be nervous or anything because i have a meeting in two and a half hours which means if I wanna do this 10 miles and be able to squeeze in a shower, I just need to start running now. So that's what I'm gonna do for breakfast today. I just chowed down on this little Belvita bar. I'm trying to start with something new because I think it's gonna rain the day of the half. So I'm wearing this like rainproof jacket instead. I've just been wearing these like crew necks and hoodies so far. I'm also running it in shorts this time because if it's gonna rain, I'd rather not be wearing as much clothing I don't know if that makes sense, but in my head that made sense. I also feel like this is a really bad idea because all the Googling I did, always, always their longest run was at least a week before. And mine is, I get four days of rest, something like that. It doesn't seem like a good idea, but I, I just know that if I don't do the 10 mile, I don't know if I'll have the confidence that I can do the 13, but I do have a strategy though. I'm running pretty slow, an 11 to 12 minute pace. Ah! I'm so nervous. Oh my god. I, I'll see you guys in two hours. I can't wait for these two hours to be over Strategy is half the time listening to a podcast, which is an hour half the time listening to music Which will get me through the final hour and ah, uh, I'm so excited though. I can't believe we're about to run 10 miles today I don't know what to think. I can't believe we're doing it. Okay. I'll see you guys in two hours. I'm so nervous. Wish me luck Wish me luck. A fifth of the way in. Okay, two fifths gonna grab a sip of water since I'm right next to the car right now. Everything's good. I'm hoping at the race I'll actually have water too because I needed that. Back on the road. Woo! Three fifths. Let's go. Feeling good. We're at mile eight. See you in two miles. Ten miles. Oh my god. I feel so good right now but I literally had like chills through my body. It was like adrenaline kicking in i got good music all of a sudden coming in box started playing and i literally got so amped up so i think i need to make like a hyped up running playlist for the last five miles i want to say but i've also locked down i think this is going to be the outfit i wear hey guys welcome to day seven of training we are basically going to go into like active recovery mode for the next four days. The goal is to walk three miles, but I am feeling quite sore from my run yesterday. Not like crazy sore where I'm like dying every time I sit down. Right below like my knee here is, it hurts. I, it like, there's just a pain below my knee. Yeah, that 10 mile run really took a toll. Also horrible news, the forecast for Saturday, the percentage likelihood of rain keeps going up. It was 50% three, four days ago, and now it's at 90. So um, that'll be fun. I'm not looking forward to that. I'm very nervous about that because I don't want to run in the rain, but I really want to run this half marathon because I've trained almost 10 days for it. So I'm really sad about that, but we're going to make it happen regardless, you guys. We're just going to make it happen. Also, I forgot to mention, but like back here of my foot has also been hurting. I don't know why. I don't maybe it's all the running i'm also not even wearing my own shoes these are actually my mother's shoes so that's a fun fact it is also so freaking beautiful out right now and it is much much later wrapping up my mile and a half. I am so sorry. Yes, this is how dark it is. And it's only like five o'clock. Oh my God, it's a coyote. Do you guys see that little guy running away? Hi guys, welcome to training day eight. I know it doesn't look like a new day, but I swear it is. I'm just wearing the exact same jacket and I look the exact same. And I'm a mile in into our three mile walk. So I'll see you at the end. <laughs> Honestly, the next three days are just gonna be boring three mile walks, but I'll still update you guys. I'm also so sad that it is like clear sunny skies today. 
but the forecast for the half marathon this Saturday is still 90% rain. Just finished up three miles. So now we're gonna go back home and get to work. I got all caught up on The Bachelorette, currently rooting for Minnesota Joe. Body check wise, left heel still hurts. Nothing else hurts, just the left heel. Still have no idea why, but yeah, see you tomorrow for day nine. Hello, welcome to training day nine. I can't believe we are almost there to day 10. It's crazy, but I'm actually doing my second walk of the day. I went on a walk this morning, Hi. but I took a meeting during it. So I didn't really vlog then, but I am finishing it up. My left heel hurts a little bit, but not as bad as it did before. So I think every day it's getting a little better and better. It is also so freaking nice out. Look at those skies. And there's not too much of a wind either. It's so great. <sighs> All done for the day. See you in day 10. Here goes day 10. Last day of training. Good morning, you guys. It's actually, sorry, it's not morning. It's 325 right now. I mean, I am all bundled up. It is like extra freezing today for some reason. Yeah, I'm actually back at the field where it all started. This is where I originally ran my first day's five miles. I already forgot how much I ran the first day, but it is day 10. I cannot believe I'm going to run a half marathon tomorrow. That is so crazy. I really hope I'm able to do it. I don't know how to feel. Oh, and other really bad, unfortunate news. It really does look like it's going to rain during the half marathon tomorrow, which, oh my God, it seriously sucks. Like this just, ah, uh, the worst finale to this whole thing but I've been checking the weather over the past few days, every single day, and the percentage has only been going up and up. And now that it's the day before, I'm pretty sure the 80% projection of rain is gonna come true. And it's happening right during my run. So it is most definitely going to rain during my half marathon. I am so happy by the way, in terms of like pain and soreness, left heel soreness, gone. We're like a mile and a half in, don't feel a thing, not sore anywhere. I'm so happy, nothing hurts. Thank God, because I'm pretty sure things are gonna hurt on the run tomorrow. So I'm glad I'm not starting with pain. Okay, update you guys. It is raining very hard. I don't know if you can hear it. I just got here. I need to run though, because I'm running very late. Thank you to the kind man who showed me where this parking lot was, because I got so lost. Also last bite of my peanut butter and jelly breakfast. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. But guys, it is pouring, pouring. I'm so sad. <laughs> Why me? Anyways, I'll uh, be right back after I get registered. I am terribly unprepared. Everyone has bags and everything, and I have absolutely nothing. Oh, Almost yeah. people, like, shorts, hey. so. If I'm here for the half, but I still need to register, do I just, if I'm here for the half, yes, okay. Okay, you guys, I actually have like no time to talk to you guys before the race starts, which is perfect because this actually gives me no time to be, no time to be nervous or freak out or anything because I'm literally running so late. The race starts in five minutes. I need to get back to the finish line, but I came back to the car to drop off this jacket I was wearing. And also to show you guys my cute little shirt that I got. Look at how cute that is. Oh my God, I thought that was so funny. Why is that actually me? They also gave me this like anklet to wear. So I guess we're timed through this anklet thing. So I'm gonna be wearing this. Uh, oh my God, I'm freaking out. I literally have like no time at all. Um, like I said, I chowed down on my PB&J and these are the snacks that I'm bringing. A little Belvita because it says four hours of energy. So I'm gonna eat one every like four miles or something like that. And then a Biscoff in case I crave something sweet. And then I have downloaded all my podcasts already. I know for certain that one of these AirPod lasts me 10 miles, so I'm sure it'll last me 13. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in. I am so excited, it is pouring. And I have no hat besides this beanie because this thing doesn't have a hood. So we're just gonna roll with it. It's one of those days. It's one of those days. Um. Oh my God, I'm so nervous and I'm so excited. There's a lot happening right now. I've got my phone, I've got my keys. I'm gonna take another sip of water. Oh my God, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out, but I need to go because I need to be back at that finish line. Oh my God, I'll see you guys. I can't believe the next time I see you guys, it'll either be I'm injured and I didn't get to finish the half marathon or I finished the half marathon and I really hope it's the latter. Well, maybe I'll just put this anklet on right now. Oh my God, I'm freaking out though. 
I am freaking out. What a nerve wracking journey this has been. Okay, ah, I'll see you guys so soon. Oh my God, one minute, one minute. I'm here, I'm here. It's raining harder and harder, and this mud is unreal. The amount of times I've almost slipped. Oh, good lord. This trail is also literally a hike. Hi. It's absolutely pouring. Can you tell? I'm not having a good time. It's just super rooty, and some of them are covered by leaves. And look at how many stones are jutting out. Or it's completely covered, and you can't see where's what. Oh my god, I've rolled my ankle so many times. Mark. Cool, cool. Just gotta do that one more time. Water break done. I can't believe whatever the f I just did up there. I have to do it again because I swear to God that was running a hike. That was running a hike. All done. Back at the water jug. Oh my God. <laughs> you guys, I don't. That honestly, I think I just blacked out because I was so focused on just not hurting myself. That trail was unreal. I feel so bad. I'm wearing my mother's shoes and uh, I'm so sorry, mom. So these are the mountains I ran through. <sighs> Hi, you guys. We just ran a half marathon. Oh, <laughs> that was, oddly enough, I think I was so focused on not slipping and sliding and falling and dying, that the time went by so incredibly quickly. Like, I was not bored for a second of that. I had a podcast in at all times. I went through two and a half podcasts, and I was so focused on staring at the ground and not falling that I literally, it went by so quickly. Oh, let me tell you though, that run, the amount of times I seriously nearly wiped out was insane. Like there were times where I would, my foot would like hit a branch and I would go falling forward and I would do that thing where you like run really quickly to catch yourself. Did that multiple times. The amount of times my legs would hit a rock at a weird position and just slide this way or slide this way and roll an ankle. Oh my goodness. I would not recommend running through the woods on a rainy day. <laughs> Literally all week long, it hasn't rained. And the day of my half marathon, it decides to rain. Oh my goodness. I, I cannot. I cannot. I, I don't even know how... I mean, hopefully you guys can see from like the little snippets that I took. So unfortunately, um, my, the first run that I started tracking on my Apple watch didn't like fully go through. Like it kept, I don't know, maybe as I was running, it just like kept stopping the run or something. So I ended up only tracking, um, I like tracked four separate runs that don't add up to 13 miles. But as you can see the full steps, prove that I ran a half marathon. So yeah, that, that was crazy. I think I came in, so I was aiming to come in at about two and a half hours because I was running at like a 10, 11, 12 minute pace, not the best time. So will I probably do a half marathon again in the future? Yes, because I would love to get under two hours, but for a fun little 10 day thing, this was honestly really enjoyable. I highly recommend anyone who, you know, if you've ever just wanted to do something, just go and do it. And if anything, I love the fact that I only had 10 days to do this because it really forced myself to do it. I'm just so glad we did this. We made it through 10 days of training. We did a half marathon. If you are wanting to do something on your bucket list, during the holidays, whatever it may be, when you have some free time, just go out and freaking do it. And comment what it is down in the comments below because I would love to hear what's on other people's bucket list. Maybe I can steal it and put it on my bucket list too. Um, yeah, I can't believe this journey has come to an end. It's kind of sad actually. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.